Well, good morning to everyone. God bless you. Thank you again for being with me this morning. We are still moving forward and we're going to jump right into this today. Again, I hope you've been enjoying this time with me um, and I'm hoping you are sharing it. I hope you are liking it. I hope you are subscribing. If you are not, I really do because there's so much more to come. So don't want you to miss anything. Hit the notification bell as well. We've been talking about um, a principle that I coin the principle of the CUOO, which is communication, unity, obedience, and operations. Now, we've talked about communication, unity, and yesterday we talked about the obedient factor, how we need to stay obedient. But now let's move into the operations. Operation has to do with the fact of how we function on the earth. We are must have this understanding, we are not from here. We must get that understanding that God has created in us a new being. We are a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And that's because we are found and fashioned in Christ Jesus. And Christ being in us is the hope of glory. So don't miss any of that. Very important. But Jesus said some things that um, as we started this whole process that I brought to your attention in Luke 19 and 13, he asked the question after dealing with um, Zacchaeus and all of that and then dealing with the ten, the, the, the pounds, the, the giving of the pounds and the one that had the 10 and gave them more to the, you know, the story. I'm not going back through that. Uh, don't have the time, but occupy until I come. He asked the question will you occupy till I come? He says, you need to occupy until I come. That's functionality. That is operation. Will you be the occupying army that is developed? Then he has a, another question before that, before that situation, he had the Samaritan woman who he gave this story about the unjust judge who did not want to listen to her and all of that. But she kept coming. She kept coming, kept coming. And he says, when I return, will I find faith on the earth? It's an amazing thing. Will he find people faithfully trusting him, doing what they need to do in this hour, occupying until he come? Because he had already told you in the Beatitudes and told all of us that we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. Two different things. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. Okay. And so that's for, for your own study time. Go and check out the difference. You know, one thing, again, the salt is salt is safer. We went through all of this and light gives vision and insight and, and opens up um, that that is dark. So it is revealed. So we need to understand who we are. That's who we are. And so we're supposed to be doing that. Let me ask you this question. Who's challenging you to change the earth? Not, 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 not bringing to you how you can get better, how you can get more, how you can be a better this, that, or another. All of that's already taken care of for you are in Christ. Once you're in Christ and you, are, you have that hope of glory, everything else is now right. Because remember the priest, you are a priest of the Lord. The Bible says that you are called a priest of the Lord, royal priest, holy nation, peculiar people. Show forth his praise till he come. So if you are that, then the priest must function for others more than they function for themselves. They have to take it for granted that God and trust God that he's going to handle it all for them so that they can take care of the world. So you come unto the throne of grace to find mercy and grace in time of need. And the time of need is not necessarily your time. It is talking about somebody else's time. So you are here left on this planet for such a time as this to now operate like the kingdom supposed to operate. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. So the same way God's will is being functioning and is functioning in the heavens, it's supposed to function on the earth. And you are the representation of that will of God functioning on the earth. Without you, they don't see father. Without you, they don't know the Lord. You are the reason for the functionality of the body of Christ. Don't get it twisted. Again, I ask you, who's challenging you to now bring forth newness in the earth? When you walk out your house, you're supposed to be looking around for where is the challenge? Who do I need to help? Why am I out here at this time? Why am I in this place? Why did God let me come here? Because my steps are ordered of the Lord. 
glory to God, and yours as well. So listen, we're going to operate. I'm going to talk to you one more day about this until we, and then we are in this, this whole session, but one more day about this operation. God bless you. Have a great one. I love you. Do something great for God today. Bye-bye.